Hello and welcome to Hobo Blog. This is Lost Part 2. If you're ever lost, turn around. Turn or don't be an arrogant ass. Yeah, that is the lesson learned. They just poured alcohol all over my, my wounds um, from trying to climb through that mess. It just turned into a giant estuary and I'm covered. I mean, it's soaked. My pants are soaked. My shoes are soaked. My socks are soaked. My gloves are soaked. I'm a bloody mess. This is the terrain that I was trying to climb over to these dudes. It doesn't look like much from here, and this is actually the easy part. Uh, but all this brush and uh, this stuff right over here uh, is, is totally uh, spiky and impossible to go through. I didn't realize you can't go through it. Um, there's no, there's no way that you'll be able to traverse through it. Um, I tried to, to push it down, I made a small path, it took me maybe 20, 20 minutes to make a small path through some of it, and then there's just more and more and more of it all the way up. There's multiple ridges <coughs> after that first one. Um, I'm just uh, choking on sand right now. I was pushing down these giant six foot reeds and uh, just falling into this uh, estuary, which was probably, uh, maybe, maybe, it had to be four foot, five foot deep in a lot of places. Um, soaked me through it. I might have ruined my iPod and, and phone. Um, I hope not. I uh, definitely got them very wet. I definitely got everything except for my backpack and camera. Thank God my camera didn't get wet or my computer, so I will be able to photo blog. <laughs> Still, no matter what, um, for your viewing pleasure. And you will continue to receive updates when I make horrible mistakes. Uh, on, uh, on various trails and get lost and then don't turn around and say I think I can trailblaze through a quarter mile of swampland um, that hasn't been untouched. Um, yeah, this is a dumb, dumb move. Uh, being arrogant and, uh, and I just thought that uh, I'd be able to easily, you know, just kind of bowl on through the swampland. Why not, you know? Uh, I didn't realize that there was an estuary running and uh, I'd get cut up by all the, uh, the reeds and everything. But, uh, but yeah, lesson learned. If you get lost, turn around. It's a lot easier than uh, trying to trailblaze through a quarter mile or a half mile of uh, uh, whatever terrain you're in, really, um, with no promise of actually even getting to, to where you're trying to get to. Um, and, then, and then I ended up going back out through and climbing back over the dune again and, and found that the trail that I was supposed to take, um, which wasn't very obvious, thank you Oregon Coastal Trail people for putting no signs whatsoever to indicate where the trail even started back off of 101 and nonetheless um, where it continued through over the dunes. Um, so, uh, so good job them, worst job me uh, trying to, to make my own. But uh, I'm alive! And I'm here, and I made it uh, on the other side. I'm so um, t terribly wet, and, and it's gonna be a pain in the ass tonight to, uh, to sort things out. I have an extra pair of pants and underwear that I'll throw them on, and uh, I just wear a sock, swap out, and I try and find some fresh water to clean my boots off. And uh, I'm just gonna walk the beach barefoot for a while, I think, until uh, until some of this shit gets dry. <laughs> and then um, I got 12 miles to the next town, <laughs> like this. So, uh, you won't see this update for a while, but, uh, when I get there, I'll be damn happy. Alright, I love you guys. Thanks.